This is hot. This is pure heat. As it turns out, is it a coincidence that if the Jesus of the Talmud is the Jesus of Christianity, then Jesus, according to this version, was conceived through adultery and did not have a human Jewish father because his actual biological father was a Roman soldier. Okay. By the way, Roman soldiers were everyone where in the first century because the state of Israel was a vassal state of Rome from Pompeii. Okay, so get it. So this is not like well, where'd you find an Italian? They're everywhere. Okay, got it. And then the church claims that Jesus was born to a virgin. Is that a coincidence that both the church and the Jewish tradition. This is really strong, big sources on this. This is not just legend, this is big. This is like huge. So you have these just two versions, but both of them agree that Jesus wasn't born to a Jewish woman and a Jewish father. I mean, is it an accident that when Paul refers to Jesus, he calls him the born to a woman according to the law? Like, what about a mommy and a daddy? Maybe. But it gets even more heated than this. You could say this is chalk this up to a complete coincidence, or we can get hotter. Could it be that the Joseph character, being Joseph, the husband of Mary, who had nothing to do with the uh, conception of Jesus, according to Matthew and Luke, was a later invention to cover this? So that's what Rabbi Singer has to say about the Lord Jesus Christ. Rabbi Singer is full of flesh. Let's take a look at him interpreting Isaiah 1, verses 2 to 3, through his carnal Jewish tunnel vision. Only be able to see the carnal Israel and missing completely the spiritual references to Jesus. The same Jesus, he says, was born of a Roman soldier father. Yeshaya begins in the first chapter, there is so visceral, it excoriates the Jews with such with such, such heat that it is the chapter that's read before Tisha B'Av. There is no parallel to Isaiah chapter 1, Parshas Chazon. There's nothing like it. Isaiah can't even talk to the Jews. Bodem gidalti, children I have raised, the haim pashu be. Look at the language. And they sinned against me. I can't even talk to you. It's third person. When it's third person, it's heat. I can't even talk to you. And then the next passage, these are very, these are epic verses. He compares us to animals and inferior to them. Yoda Shur Kainehu, the Shur, he knows his owner. The Chamur Evus Bolov and the donkey, he knows the manger from which the trough from which he eats. Dox knows his owner. Lash knows the trough which he eats. Now the good rabbi knows that the Hebrew word for both animals and nations outside of carnal Israel is the word goy. Could Isaiah be telling him that the Gentile nations know their God and that Jesus, born in a manger, born in an animal trough, is the one and only God of their Tanakh? Jesus Christ, born in a manger, an animal trough. Jesus Christ, the true brother of life for the Jew and the Gentile. I mean, a donkey you can't have a big relationship with. An ox, you can, people, it's like a dog, you know, like a dog. They, they you get along, this is my buddy, he's my best friend. A donkey, just, he knows who feeds him, that's all he knows. You can't even do a donkey. So an ox and a donkey, they're loyal to their master for whatever reason. Yisrael lo yada. Israel does not know. Look at the language. Yes, Rabbi. You and Israel do not know. Not you don't know. I can't even talk to you. I can't talk to you right now. Ami lo yispainon. My nation does not understand. 
and then compares the behavior of Klal Yisrael to Sodom and Amorah, it's pure heat. Until you finally get to Isaiah chapter 1, verse 27, which says, I'm going to explain to you now, this is how redemption is coming to Zion. The only way you're going to be delivered, the only way you're going to be saved, the only way you, Jerusalem and Eretz is not referred to in Messianic prophecy is through Tzedakah and Mishpat. And I hope they hear that in Rome. I hope they hear that a full of theological seminary. The text in Isaiah says the only way there'll be redemption of mankind is only through tzedakah and mishpat. There is no other way.